Welcome to the Metal Voice. And on the Metal Voice, Alan, we have a Metal Voice. All yeah. Ripper, all the time. You know, <laughs> that's our new motto. People missed all the good talk. All the blabbermouth headlines are already talked about off camera. I mean, I have I talked about every single person out there and put them down. So now it's really, um, what are we going to no. talk about? Nothing. And that's what we're going to do. This is your show. Whatever you feel like talking about, we'll talk about. Uh, new album. And let's do it while Jimmy can still talk. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. The EP. The EP. Yeah. Return to Death Row. Wow. Look at Old that. Old school. Old, Old school. school. Brutal. Brutal. It is Produced brutal. by Jamie. Jamie Jackson. Well, that's exactly what we were going for, man. I mean, you know, I've said this a bunch about t- the Motorhead Cruise and, and Jamie. I did his podcast. He's like, man, we got to do a record. You got to use that heaviness like on Jugulator and on, uh, you know, um, what was that other band I had? Beyond Fear. And um, I have so many bands I can't remember. And so 10 years later, first of all, he did the D Snyder record since then. And then I was like, man, those things are fantastic. I mean, that those D Snyder records were so good. I love D and I love Twisted Sister in the 80s. And I was like, man, this is great. So anyways, he, I did his podcast probably to promote the uh, – KK's Priest record, and he's and he's like, okay, twenty five years of Jugulator is coming up. We've got to do it, man. Uh, and he started sending me ideas, and it was like, this, you know, listen, guys, you're only doing six songs, so you know we're gonna do a ten full length record coming up. Probably, obviously, it's gonna have more flavors. You kind of get a taste of it. There's three fast, heavy songs on this record, especially, and I can't imagine out of the ten song record there'd be any more. But this record is great, and it and it came together so fast like vocally i just i sang these songs and flew through them man he would laugh he would laugh they would send me ideas and send me the songs they would be in the studio after i did one song and then another one then he's like in the morning he'd send me one or even at night and by noon the computer would ding in a studio and they would go there's ripper's vocals he's done <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun you know because it's just you know, there's a, it's like you said, it's heavy, but it's still melodic. The vocals are, you know, me. When people, I laugh, we've talked about this a ton in the past. People always go, oh, you're trying, he's trying to sound like this guy, this guy. Every time I hear me sing, I don't think there's anybody that sounds like me. You know, I sound like me, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and this, this is, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a throwback. You know, when I grew up, I listened to Priest, Maiden, Dio, uh, Metal Church, sabotage but i also one of my top favorite bands was anthrax and testament and you know metallic and slayer so i had all that kind of and when you have a voice like me i pretty much can sing whatever's thrown at me and it fits but this just sounds this is, was perfect i was so in love with it when i started doing it yeah you know what that's, uh, that's my uh, takeaway from listening to it <laughs> you know i would say this is you know what it's kind of less of the priest the falsettos and more of the singing Right. I think you're you're actually just singing more. And you know, probably a new revenge meets KK's priest, sort of in somewhere in there, but you know. Beyond Fear, because you know what's funny about the Beyond Fear record, besides Scream Machine. Yeah. That that was the last song written to to actually kind of prove a point. When I wrote Scream Machine, I was like, you know, Priest should have had me write with him. And then I wrote Scream Machine to go, here's a song that Priest should have had me had right had me write with him. But the rest of the song, everybody's record, everybody was complaining there's not that much high notes. You know, every record I do is different. And high notes are, there's great high notes on this on this new EP. And it's in the background. It's just not high singing. It's more high notes and high screams. My my falsettos and high notes right now are, my voice in general and my high notes especially are better than they've ever been in my life. I mean, I can't, I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know if it's the, you know, when I finally started doing crystal meth or whatever, it, it made that <laughs> headline right there. Headline, there we go. Dipper Dip River Owens does cripple crystal meth. The crystals must be good for me. No, I. It, 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 so this record, you know, who knows on the next, you know, maybe more high high stuff. But what I like to do is sing high notes. I mean, I like to sing anyway. I've said this even to you guys before. I. I sing in with versatility and in characters. I mean, I've, I grew up listening to Dio and Halford and Sabotage. So I like to sing not just one way, whether it's a death metal thing underneath of it, high notes on top of it, you know, 
um, whatever it needs, I love to do it. Well, this is a perfect example, right? In your revenge, you're actually just, I kind of like it when you're just singing and you just kind of, you know, space out those highs, right? Those, that, the, the head yeah. voice kind of falsetto. I like this. I think you, you brilliantly sing on this album. And I think it's not great. Not that we're promoting this album today, but I'm just no, but saying. I always talk about that album when I do these interviews for this new one because Silent Cage sounds like a song that should have been on the, a new Revenge record. It really sounds like that kind of tune. But the singing on this record's a little more aggressive, but it also has tons of vocals that sound, you know, similar to the to the a new Revenge record. I mean, as I've gotten older, uh, the problem is you get penciled into singing high notes. You know, everybody looks at me and sing, and then they compare you to other people. I'm like, I'm pretty certain. Like, oh, he sounds like Rob. I'm pretty certain there was people doing high notes before Rob Ian Gillen and um, other. You know what I mean? Hell, Dion and the Belmonts. Dion was singing <laughs> Frankie Valley. Huh. Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Yes, you know what I mean. So it's, um, but I I love to just sing however this this what the song needs, you know. And you can hear my career. I mean, listen, I've never sang so many high notes and into three trimmers. It's a scream fest, but it's purposely done that way. It's purposely made to be over the top screaming metal, you yeah. know. And then something like a new Revenge, or the you know the new KK's Priest is is going to be killer man it's it's heavier and and but anyways uh, is i i can't be any happier with yeah the new ones the new one a lot of the vocals remind me of stuff from this solo ep there you go so i can't wait to uh, get it but this doing the solo ep i'm i'm excited to start working on the the next 10 songs for it you know so it's uh uh the band is fantastic and you know jamie's ideas it's been great you know, listen to the album. I, I, you, you just answered the question I had because, uh, you know, we're all getting older. We were talking before we we started taping. Uh, you know, and and I'm listening to this album. Your screams, your voice, it's it's unbelievable. You know, we're we're getting older, and you're still able to do it. So we we know the reason now. It's crystal meth, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's surprising just the same. It is that I was gonna, you know, take a, that stuff. Just works wonders. I mean. <laughs> Listen, mine the doctor prescribed. I mean, he's on the corner of Sixth and Seventh Street. But yeah, yeah. He, well, and well uh, and certain hours know. only. No, but I, uh, yeah. Listen, my voice. It's funny because I kind of lost it for five or six years, and um, just wasn't up to par. You know, probably fifty, forty percent. I could still get things done, but it was like pulling teeth. Now, I have no fear of walking on stage. I just did in the summer. This is when I knew it was back. I went on a latin america tour i did 16 shows in like 18 days and it was brutal and every night man my voice was just like i said especially the high notes when you come to the concerts now they're probably people are probably thinking oh my god just stop singing high notes because they just go longer and stronger and i'm like i'm just going off because again like i said people want to hear that with me right there's some people that are like that's that's what i want to hear and then there's other people that want to hear that heaviness but my voice feels as good as ever i've been singing so much in the studio for I just did a couple Merciful Fate songs for somebody, and uh, oh, what uh, what's the song? Satan's Satan's Fall. Satan's Fall, and I I'm thinking it's all right, you know, it's probably okay because I don't want to sound like King Diamond. High notes, I don't want to sound like his lows. I want it to still be my regular voice. I don't want it to be, oh, 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 you know, I want it to be different. But I sent it to the guy, and he and he messaged back, and he's like, "This is the best." Merciful Fate song version of it I've heard. Will you do another one? I'm like, okay, you know, it's uh, but it's in the past I would have been like, mm, man, I don't know about the high notes. Now the high notes come out on the first take. Every high note, like on the EP, when I did embattled and it's got the embattled, it's got the high note first take on every single. I doubled them Ooh. and did take on every note every time. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, well, I'm saying this, and tomorrow I'll get the Canadian Jinx. And I'll probably lose my voice. So now I like to. I'll send, I just you a case, I'll send you a case of Canadian beer. It'll, it'll fix everything. I'm going to. I don't drink that much, but that would be a nice treat. Um, I know the taxes and the shipping will be really expensive. I can probably yeah. buy it. How about this? How about I just buy it at the local grocery store and I'll say it to you guys? Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's a charge us. You can pay me the money. <laughs> And I, lo I love you Midwest guys. You know, we had Mark ba Barlow on about probably a year ago at the same time around the Christmas season. And you guys always have the tree and the decorations. And it's always nice to see. I'm at my my brother and sister-in-law's house right now. 
um, I don't have, uh, you know, once I started doing crystal meth, I don't have anything. <laughs> He's living in a car. That okay. So, so you have this EP. Now you're coming out with another album of 10 songs. So that, that's the announcement, right? Yeah. So is it going to be within the same sort of style? Uh, you know, just a continuation of what you're doing, or are you just completely going Celine Dion on us or what? Let me tell you something first. I'm at my brother and sister in law's house, but my house does have Christmas decorations. Can I just get that point out there? Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know it. I don't want to sound grinchy. I'm just here. It's and fine. It's fine. So just to make sure you know. Okay, what was the question again? Because I talked over you. Like the question was about uh your PayPal account. <laughs> now you want to send us money. Okay. Uh, the next album, it's going to be 10 songs. Is it a continuation of what you're doing or are you just going to sort of go off on another tangent? No, it'll be this, you know, again, there'll be more layers because there's 10 songs. You know, I think this one, we wanted to come out of the gate pretty brutal anyways, <clears throat> but I think a, a great idea that you can get is, you know, there's going to be a fast, some fast songs on it. It's going to have mm -hmm. some old kind of thrash and heavy metal. And, uh, but then when you'll have songs like silent cage, my favorite is heroes dare. That's my favorite song on the record because it just kind of de depicts it all. You know, it's kind of right in the middle there and is heavy. But I, you know, it's you know, really it's one song at a time. You know, you kind of there's nothing that can't be on it. That's is it I done? Think. Is that album done? The ten no. songs? Are you, you have you written the songs yet? Nope. But they'll okay. go. Fast. Those guys are writing stuff now. Uh, uh, Jamie and you know it, the band guys, uh, Nikki, Nikki Belmore. And and Charlie Belmore on Nikki's Nikki is on drums and and produced it and then his brother uh, on guitars and then Christopher Bodette is on bass. You know, we'll start putting it together and they'll send me some stuff and but they I know for a fact they have songs written already. Um, so they'll are you start. Write, are you writing? You're writing the lyrics. I was I'll assume, write right? lyrics, but you know, uh, I'll write some lyrics. Jamie's a, a wizard at everything. I mean, the guys, you know, he'll send me vocal ideas and I'd be like. That's so good. He's such a good singer too. It's kind of, kind of amazing. So he'll sing. And I like it this way because I want to make the best record. So I like to write. I like those guys to write. Uh, it's it's pretty amazing to to see what they what they've done on that first record. It was fantastic. And you, so your new nickname's One Take Tim. One Take Tim, uh, and that's that goes for just not singing. Over and out, Owens. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I really like. Uh, the night, take it back because it's got that sort of tribal mosh pit uh, kind of vibe. You know, you could see a mosh pit sort of like, you know, just everyone just kind of going to that tribal thrash beat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I like Silent Cage because it's the big hit of the album. We'll call it that that big. If there was a radio hit, that would be it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, um, and actually the whole thing's great. It is more thrashy. It is more thrashy. It in is. General. Especially. Well, Guy while we're alive was a fantastic opener, right? So that that was the first one I sang too in that high note. That was like it starts with that ripper high note, and mm -hmm. but you know the night take it back, which I always want to call it take back the night because that's that was what it was originally called, and um, it the, when the guitar started off, it reminds me of Megadeth. Just it had this whole Megadeth vibe. So that one was the one that actually I it took me a little more to sing it more because I wanted to make sure, because it's so fast, but I wanted to make, be kind of, kind of a mix beat the verses between clean and raspy at times. So I had to mix it. So I actually sent him a version and then I redid it and send, I got a different mic and sent him another version. And, um, but, but yeah, that's, it's, you know, it's funny people. And I think silent cage gets a, a lot of favorite votes, but, Heroes Dare gets a lot of favorite votes, and the title of it, Return to Death Row, that yes. seems to get votes from people. Let's talk about this album cover. It's all the yes. flack you're getting on this. I love it. I love the album cover. It's it's car it's got that cartoon sort of dark cartoon uh, vibe to it, right? Ooh. Whose idea was it? Well, first of all, it's probably the best. Besides everybody going with the shocker thing. Um, and originally that wasn't the idea. The originally he sketched out me in an electric chair. I mean, what, if you put someone in an electric chair and that's to cover the album, unfortunately, if you don't, if, if he wouldn't have put the orange jumpsuit on, I guess, but then it becomes, Oh, it looks like shocker. Well, then it yeah. became kind of a tribute when he did the orange jumpsuit. You go, let's kind of make it this vibe. It's probably the most, the best received album cover I've gotten. I, I, I get I, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I get, 
it's, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll break it down for you. So you got two army guys, right, with two rifles yep. on one side. You got the guy with the vaccine on the other side, <laughs> right, yeah. or whatever it is, I guess the lethal injection. But you're yeah. on an electric chair. I don't know why you'd get a lethal injection. And then you got the sort of like the, the, the politician sitting on the left-hand side. Well, I think they're making and the noose. Don't forget the noose. I think they're just going to mm. make you kill me. I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, they want to make sure you're you're people gone. People have been trying to kill my career for ages, so I guess they're just trying to make sure they they get it. Um, no, it's great. Dan Goldsworthy is the artist, and I re- they sent me the sketches first. I thought, man, brilliant. This is going to be great. You know, it's it was great. I have it. I like to release it. And then this is what's funny is I was. Recorded, I recorded in battle, and then I went directly to Latin America. Then I shot the video on the first show, which I didn't even know the song hardly because I just recorded it and left. And then he, Jamie says, we need you to take pictures of your face because we want to, he wants to draw it on, on the thing and everything. Mm-hmm. So I went into the bathroom in my hotel and I had some with my hat and glasses on because it's kind of my look, right? Um, you know. Did that. Then I took the hat off. And then I put the hat on. I had sunglasses. And Jamie goes, he's not going to use the hat and sunglasses or the sunglasses. Nobody's in an electric chair with sunglasses on. And I said, I am. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't say that. Darted, Dan, that's what he worked up. And it's great because I wear these Dylan sunglasses and they're a fantastic company, Dylan, Dylan Optics. And they're like frosted and they're great. And so he made them and they look just like it. Then he shows me it. And I'm like, hey, you forgot this. I didn't have this tattoo. Then I said, you forgot this tattoo. And this, you know, you should put them. And then he sends me back the new drawing and it's got the tattoo and the stuff. And I'll tell you, it was, I'll tell you where you can see the artwork really good. If you watch the video, the the lyric video of Return to Death Row yeah, on YouTube, yeah. it, that video is so, such a, it's one of my favorite lyric videos. It's got the artwork and it's got, everything's done. It's so good, man. It's really great. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably some people upset that somebody's holding a gun, but then on the other hand, I can get with those people and say, well, the other guy's getting ready to give me a, he's vaccinating me. Like you that's said. right. So that's a good I, thing. <laughs> yeah. So I can, you know, that's my booster. Omicron. Okay. Um, KK's Priest. So we spoke to Aless Banks. Uh, I know KK's made some release. Uh, he's set, sent some statements out that, you know, he's he's in the process of, I guess, finishing the album. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Where are you at? Have you done your vocals for the new KK Priest album? I have. I, I just finished the last one a couple of days. I'm sure I'll have to go back and redo a few things on them. Um, uh, maybe add some parts, whatever. I mean, I sent a lot of vocals it's, I really like it. I mean, and I'm, the music I had was, you know, it still needed guitar parts and, uh, which is already done because they just sent them to me early stages, which they've already added stuff. Him and AJ has been in the studio doing it. It's, it's really close. You know, I mean, now it's really in the mixing process, I think, and, 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 and you know, producing the, the stuff and moving some stuff around, but I actually really like it. I, I think it's, it, it's, uh, next level from from the last one i think the last one was the perfect record i, I, think. I love this album yeah last year was on our list of our top 10 albums of 2021 i think, I think it's, it's great i think it's a great you know what? It, it, and it grows on you over time this album like it i just, think it, I, what i said to people guys is that when they would say well it kind of sounds like priest and, and i think i told you this before but it's like no it sounds like kk downing i mean i don't i mean he that's what he's written this next one though i think is that and beyond. I, I think again, voc- vocally, it's got a little heavier. It's got tons of highs still, but it's got just edgier vocals. I think it's just you know, it's got some melodic, beautiful vocals, um, but it's just edgier. I think, and it was a. I, I enjoyed doing this one uh, a lot. Right. What was the initial feedback off the first time? What did you remember most of a uh, of fan reaction off the, when the first KK Freeze came out? Uh, the name, stupid. And um, I still get, uh, you know, you, he's trying to sound like Halford. I'm thinking, could you just get over that, man? I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we move on? It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I mean, I've been singing forever and I just sound, I just sing like me. But, but uh, it was a really good response. I mean, people, people really loved it, you know, and uh, um, it was nice to have that. And I know 
Ken's, you know, excited with putting, he was excited putting that out. And I know he's really excited about getting this next one out. You know what, actually you, you nailed it because I think even when you started sort of getting that success, you know, early on with the ice earth and priest, you always had your own voice, even though you sound, you could do the Halford stuff, but you always had your distinct, yeah, no, that's Ripper singing there. You know, that always you retain that. At least that's how well, I see, hear it. Because right? you can sing a song good uh, and live, especially I've prided myself on always singing good live. Doesn't mean you sound like that person just because you're singing. them. I mean, it's just, it's the strangest thing. It's funny because when I was in priest, the people who didn't like me because I didn't sound like Rob Halford, they wanted to. <laughs> so then we, you know, I was trying to, so you, you put a record out. And they, you know, listen, people just love to complain. I mean, they complain that I wear a baseball hat. Then I take the baseball hat off on stage and are pissed because I don't have the baseball hat on. Um, they, they say I have no range. When I read people like he's not a good singer, he has no range. He's no good live. I'm like, have you ever, if you, he doesn't put anything out. He doesn't write anything. He doesn't put his own record. Out. Like, what if? I mean, how many? I put five records out last year. I mean, what yeah. else can I do? <laughs> I, I, that's how I was going to start this interview. The hardest working man in the business, Ripper Owens. I mean, well, listen, next, next, the, next to Blaze Bailey, right? He, there's a there's, yeah. a there's a race that's going on there. Listen, listen, I make a, a living as a musician, so I have fun doing it. But it's it's fun to to finally put this Ripper you know, record out. I mean, really it's, it's, uh, and the next year is going to be pretty swamped because, um, KK's priest is, you know, now we're finally going to put this record out and tour, you know? So the, the plan is to just tour nonstop for, for, for a you know, year or two. When um, we talked to KK, uh, I guess it may be less than a year ago, me and Alan, he was telling us he was kind of working on the next album but there was still COVID sort of lingering, right? And, yeah. But, but I mean, are we talking about like, okay, there was one festival date that was announced at Alcatraz, right? The Belgium Festival, which is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. But are we I talking heard. about just festival dates here? Or are we talking about, you know, you're hitting the road, North America, Europe? Well, I think the plan is to hit the road. I don't think he wants to just do festivals because, <clears throat> you know, you it's too hard you know it's fine for me to do festivals if i show up and there's a band waiting for me and then i could just jump on stage but you know it's just hard to just go and pop and do festivals here and there um so i think it's the plan is definitely to, to, to tour you know the plan is definitely to hit the road and and do stuff so hopefully it all comes together i know that you know we have an agency looking into that so it's all in the hands of everybody so i'm just hoping that you know none of us get monkey pox or we end that <laughs> Or whatever else is going to be the latest and greatest virus. Yes. I mean, but remember, from the album cover, I'm vaccinated. So That's yeah, right. good. You're or you're going to be vaccinated. You're not actually getting no, vaccinated. I'm all, I'm actually, trying to get you. I'm all the vaccinated boosters. I've got them all. I mean, traveling like that, going to different countries, you know. I do. Have, you ever, have you ever been to China? Uh, I, you know what's funny? I've only landed in China to, con to connect on a plane, so I guess I have. Okay. Um, so I, um, but I do like, I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express once. So um, oh. I have I Chinese food. So that's kind of almost. <laughs> uh, that's close. I mean, it's really funny you say that though, because touring solo and I get the different bands to, to back me up in all these countries. I can't believe I've never went to Japan or China and, and done something, something like that, you know, because it's so easy to, to be done. So I'm going to have to get a hold uh, of a manager to get me there. Anvil, they went to uh, China, and there's a few other bands. I mean, I'm sure it's not easy, you know, dealing with promoters there and dealing with the locals, like you know the the sort of the guys who are putting stuff together. But I'm sure there's a lot of metal fans there. Right? Well, I've been from Africa to you know Israel to you know just name it. I've been in, anywhere you with Beirut, you know, just Dubai. I mean, as odd places that I've went traveled by myself to play shows. So. I, I'm, you know, China would be, it would be perfect. You know, I would, I got some friends, Neil Zaza, guitar player, extraordinaire local mm -hmm. guy here. He's been all over there. So he goes here a lot. That's cool. That's cool. Alan, what else What's you on your Christmas reading list? Tim, you, you a big reader? Uh, I'm, I'm not a big reader. I used to be a big reader, but then with all these, you know, Netflix and all the other things that are out there now, I've become lazy where I just watch <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
I don't even know if I can read anymore because it's been so long. So I, you know, I, I, you know, it's funny. Last thing I read was uh, Ronnie Dio's book, um, <clears throat> which was just fantastic. Such a great read. Sucked you in right away. And, uh, you know, so I, but I'm not a big reader. Did you like the documentary? Well, it's funny. I just started, I'm just finishing it today because yeah. I had to stop because I, my eyes were all teary. I'm like, I'm not getting on here because I'm at the end of it. And uh, <laughs> I was supposed to go to the premiere and my girlfriend and I had something come up and I couldn't go. We couldn't go. And then um, <clears throat> I uh, went uh, on tour when it came out. So kind of, you know, blew it. And then I just figured I better watch it now. And uh, just, I think it's so good. You know, he's such a, he was such a great guy. Wendy's such an amazing person and um, it's, it's amazing to watch it and sad in itself, you know, it was well done. I saw it, Alan, you saw it, right? I haven't seen it yet. No. Oh, you haven't seen it. Oh, it's very well done. Very well done. And you know what, if you read the book, if you read the book and you watch the documentary, they, they sort of complement each other. Waiting for it to come out on VHS, aren't you? (laughs) Yeah. Beta. Beta. Beta max. It's flashing 12 at his house. I just, Uh, you know, the new the new EP, which is on martyrstore.com. Martyrstore. Oh yes, yes, we should say that. Yes. yes. Dot net. I'm sorry, martyrstore.net. Um Tim, yeah, the different combinations people can, can they still get those combinations like the t-shirt, the what yeah. talk about that? There's all kinds of bundles. You know, Jamie's loves to do that stuff and and uh, a cool ripper hat, you know. I actually would wear it now because I don't wear any of my merch when it said Tim Ripper Owens, but I'll wear something now that just says Ripper because it's a little different. But I should have been wearing it now. He's going to be pissed at me. But um, <laughs> um, it's got all kinds of great bundles. You know, I was just getting ready to say that we actually have it, you know, on CD and, and vinyl. But we also have it on cassette for sale. And it's funny because someone says, do you have a c- cassette player? And I said, hell, I don't have a CD player anymore. <laughs> yes, yes. You know? I mean, I, but uh, it's the bundles, T-shirts, um, you know, stickers, uh, little 12 by 12 poster things. It's really, it's a, it's got a great whole bunch. And you got to scroll down because Jamie has now moved all of his stuff up top because it's the holidays probably. So Jamie said, we're putting Tim at the bottom. Oh, and uh, scroll down. (laughs) So I have to tell everybody first page. I'm not there. So you have to hit view all and then keep scrolling and and you keep scrolling because he's got a lot of, a lot of stuff up, up there. But it's, it's sounds like awesome. you should be sending some money to some someone's PayPal account. Get yeah, to, get your back up to the top of the page. That's well, right. You, That's how it works. That you know, I bought. I bought. Um, am I all right now? It's all coming. Did I look good? Is it okay. Yeah. 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 Good. Um, great. I we all um, look good. Do I good? You say eyebrows all right. I um. Yeah. I I I ordered my record on um, or CD on Amazon. I always order anything I put out. I'll go to Amazon or whatever and buy the, the CD. And uh, I ordered it like three weeks ago. Whenever I did it, and they said you're going to get it January 11th, and I'm like, what? I mean, it was like the day it came out, or actually it was before the official day it was released. So, and so I messaged the guys, and I had fans tell me the same thing. Man, we mm-hmm. just ordered it. it does. Jan- there's it says January 18th, so I messaged Jamie, and then they found out that the first batch that Amazon got in, they sold out. Oh, so I thought hey, that that's good. It'd been 30, but anyways, uh, no, it was. I, I, uh, I had the same experience. I hate to say this, but in Canada on Amazon, I, I, I you know, I ordered it, still waiting, right? So, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm patient. But it's which okay. now we sent them a crap load more, and okay. then here's what's happened. Then I went and looked to buy it again, and it said you'll get it. December 20th or something. And I went, Oh, I'll buy it again. Cause I want it. it gives, I was just giving my parents. And then even though I have them in, in my, in my room, I, I, the one that I ordered that was coming January 11th moved back down. Now I'm getting it like tomorrow. So it's kind of like, Oh, okay. So right, right. they, check yours. Maybe it'll change. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, one, one album that me and Alan, you know, uh, glorious burden. I'm just going to say that that was to me, the vocal delivery of your career. You know, I mean, it's, you know, we, we've talked about this many, many times before. But yeah. It's just, it just like, that was like the highs, the melody, the just the, the brutality of it all. That's for me and Alan, if we have anything in common, me and Alan, it's the love of that album. And, well, and I, it's a special album, I think, in, in I, your yeah. career. 
I think the Gettysburg piece is amazing. Yeah. Vocally, I actually like Framing Armageddon better. I like the record really? better. Really? Yes, because it's it. Uh, you know, it was more me and some of those songs that you know. I, I just think it's a a better record myself. But when you talk about some a few of the songs, um, but the Gettysburg piece, the Three Days of Gettysburg, I learned more making that record about history than I ever did in school. And yeah. you know, I teachers. Not anymore, obviously, they're not going to do this, <laughs> but I have teachers that tell me um, they would teach, they would play the the, the, wow. you know, the the Gettysburg songs to their class and they could learn it easier. And they said, they, you know, obviously they're, they're never going to play I Sir to their class anymore, but um, yeah. they, would, uh, they would do that. And it was always cool to hear it when the teachers would tell me that, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. On a last note, is there anything else uh, you want to yeah, say? Yeah. Well, you know, anybody can can check out what I'm doing on all my social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, um, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever the hell it is. You can get a hold <laughs> America's most wanted <laughs> only fans page or cameo cameo. Well, I do have my cameo. So, that, you know, that you whatever you need, get get a hold of me on cameo and listen i'm gonna tell you guys something i'm taking some time off so i'm gonna plug something that i, that I do when i have time off from the road i should rest right i should not do anything but i love mm. to sing people's music because i am a musician so they can get a hold of me at ripper vocals at gmail.com ripper vocals at gmail.com if they want me to guest on a song you know i do this non-stop all over the world i haven't been as much lately because i've been touring non-stop but it's so fun to do it I make a living doing music and then I get to do all, I have versions of like death metal, hardcore. I did a song that they could check out from Jesus Christ Superstar. That's out. I mean, I've done so many different things, so. but they can just it, check out, but everybody spread the word about the EP. Yeah. Is, yeah, is yeah, there absolutely. any project you, you won't do? Well, yes, I've been given stuff that I won't do, but, uh, well, especially if they're not going to pay me enough, but I, yeah. I, um, <laughs> Listen, if it's a lot of money, I'll do anything vocally. <laughs> um, vocally. You had to like throw vocally. that in at the end. Vocally, yeah. Vocally. Yeah. The, the messages I would get now, hamster, whatever. But I am gerbils. I got a tube and a gerbil. But listen, um, I did a record that's out now. You guys know Pyramid. Uh, yeah. it, it's um, kind of like uh, Prog. Prog. I just did a second record with him. And that's how I was just a guest singer. And uh, I wrote a lot of the songs on that record with him, you know, so it was, uh, it's fun. You know, last year I did so many different records and it's just, it's fun to do. Yeah. Any Canadian dates? Have you booked anything in Canada yet? I haven't. No, I need to It'd be nice to, to get there. Um, I'm uh, like I said, I'm going to start being pretty busy. So I'd love to do a little solo run through Canada. Like I do with the, the Drover brothers. I'd like to do a yeah. solo, you know, and, uh, I just got to make sure none of my bandmates here are criminals because then I can't get in, you know? So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's number one on the list. Listen, you can't get into Canada if you, you know, anything, yeah. peed yeah. in the corner or something like that. Or, but when you, know, you live here, it's okay. But when you just can't get in, <laughs> probably the coming back here, I know our borders are very similar on, on being strict, you know? So, well, unless you're coming in through the Mexican border, then it's, you know, you, it's not quite as strict here. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, I mean, was, you're, 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 I'm assuming you're, you're, you're pretty clean because if you're flying all over the world and they're letting you in, you must be good to go. Right. I don't have anything. What's That's sad good. is I had a DUI from when they were 18, 30 years ago. You know, you got to get all, you got to pay all the stuff and get paperwork. It's like, come on. You know, I mean, don't you got more to worry about than somebody who got a DUI 30 years yeah. ago? Yeah. It, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. pretty, yeah. I don't have it as of now, the, the Canadian, uh, whammy's probably going to get me again. I'll probably walk out of here. To... <laughs> luckily, I haven't got, you know, because all my presents I got this year, I've shoplifted. So luckily, I haven't gotten caught yeah, yeah. dealing That's any. Right. That's right. And you, you got a good doctor on, on the corner of what street again? <laughs> uh, uh, I think it was 8th and 7th and 6th and 7th Street. <laughs> so he's pretty good. He's got a little cart and a hot dog stand. But then he's, you know, he's, he doesn't sell wieners. He sells good the, the good stuff he's got the, the good, good stuff. stuff yeah 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 on that note just to make sure he knows i don't do drugs any 
and I very seldomly drink. So that's probably why my voice is in good shape. Well, you know, and, um, and yes, uh, you listen to this album and you can witness how good a shape your voice is in. That's for sure. So, well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And, and congratulations on the weight loss, too. That's what we were talking about right before you got on. Alex. Oh. Yeah. Tim's a lost yeah. some weight there. You know, yep. um, he's on hey, a 90 days in jail. will do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Appearing, appearing soon on television. 90 yeah, days right. in jail. Tim Ripper yeah. Owens. Yeah. Yep. Can't wait Undercover. to see you. Can't wait to see you with uh, KK's Priest, man. I think that's going to be the highlight of the year wherever you got you're it. playing. Always good talking to you. And let's do it in person next time. You bet. All buddy. the best All for right. the, the holidays. And, oh, we still got to take that picture of you in my kitchen with food like Blaze. Yes. We do. do you remember that? I do. We talk about it at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, man. Talk soon. Bye. Yeah.